welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um, today's video is going to be another video on how I prepare my meals for the week. As you guys know, I work for a normal 9 to 5 job and so it's really a lot of work to have to cook during the week, at night when I get home and I'm tired. So usually on Sundays I go ahead and prepare meals for the whole week, including lunch and dinner. I usually cook breakfast or make breakfast in the morning before I head out. But you guys did get to see a first video of me cooking all my meal preps and you guys really liked it. I'm so happy about that. But I think it's time to show you guys some new recipes, some things that I'm enjoying at this moment. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and include all of the products and produce that I bought and I'll let you guys know where I got it from. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys try out the recipes uh, and suggest any other recipes that you guys have for me for future videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, I am so excited to be doing another cook with me kind of video. These are all of the produce and ingredients that I bought for today's video. A lot of these items either came from Safeway or Trader Joe's. These are the meal prep containers that I use. I'm going to be cooking four lunch meals and four dinner meals because I will actually be out of town for half of the week. Alright, so for my first meal, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the rice since it takes the longest to cook. I sometimes use my fingers or my eyes just to measure it out. I don't really scale things or weigh them out. I just recently started using rice cookers and I'm obsessed because it takes so much more less time. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook the broccoli that will be going with my dinner meal. I buy the frozen pack from the grocery store and I just add some hot water and let them boil. While those two are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the lunch and start to prepare the containers. I love using spring mix because it's a good mix of different types of lettuce. I try to really stuff these containers because honestly salad is healthy in general, but I definitely want to be full while I'm at work and not craving more food. So I really try to compact as much as I can. Once I'm done adding the lettuce, I like to start adding the toppings. I start with chickpeas. These are Bombay Spice flavored. I love them because they add a lot of crunch to my salad rather than just lettuce and plain taste. If you guys haven't tried roasted chickpeas, I highly recommend. They're amazing. I love the taste. Next for toppings, I'm going to go ahead and add some blueberries. I went ahead already and washed them and I'm going to add a same amount to each container. Like I said earlier, I'm definitely jumping between meals. Now I'm going back to dinner and I'm going to go ahead and prepare the vegetables that I'm going to add to the ground beef. This gives it a lot of flavor and I like to saute them before adding the ground beef to the pan. When cutting the bell pepper, I like to cut them into small squares. This is perfect for bite-sized portions. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut some onions. Usually I like to use red onions, but I only had white today. But I'm going to go ahead and do the same and cut them into small pieces. Now that the vegetables are all cut up, I'm going to go ahead and use some extra light virgin oil. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the pan and let it heat up before adding the vegetables on it. When turning the temperature on the pan, you don't want it to be too hot, otherwise your vegetables will start to burn a little bit quicker than you would like. So go ahead and put it on medium or a little bit lower than that. While I'm letting the vegetables cook on the pan, I'm going to go ahead and check in on the broccoli just to see how they're doing. You don't want to leave them in too long. Alright, time for the ground beef. I went ahead and bought this for 9 11 It was a pound and 14 ounces, so it's a good amount um, for that price. I'm just going to go ahead and lay the ground beef on straight to the pan. The heat will go ahead and kill the bacteria. I go ahead and crush it into smaller bits before adding the spices. Hands down, this is the best taco seasoning mix I've ever ever bought and it's from Trader Joe's. It gives my ground beef such amazing flavor and has just the right amount of spice to it. I go ahead and apply it straight onto the ground beef and really work it into it, crushing it into smaller pieces again. Thank you. 
I just go ahead and add a little bit of salt to it. It already has some in the seasoning, but I love salt, so why not? By now the broccoli has definitely cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the water out and let them cool down before entering them into the containers. After letting them cool down for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and evenly disperse them through the containers. Like I said, I'm only doing four this time because I will be going out of town this week to go visit my husband, so that's why you guys see four containers only. So far this is what the containers are looking like with the broccoli in it. As you guys can see there's perfectly enough space for everything. I'm going to go ahead and add the rice now. This is what the rice cooker looks like after the rice has been cooked. Am I the only one who thinks they are cooking not enough rice but then once it's done it's literally way too much? Just like the broccoli, I'm going to go ahead and spread out the rice between the four containers. So I guess it was actually the perfect amount because I had barely any left by the end. All right, time to finish up the dinner portion. I'm gonna go ahead and add the ground beef to the four containers once again, and this will be completing my dinner meal preps. Before I forget to mention, these containers are microwave safe. I have been able to reheat them with no problem. I will have the link to the containers listed in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check them out. So this concludes the meal prep for dinner. I love this meal because I get my veggies, some grains, as well as some protein from the ground beef. It's the perfect mix and it has so much flavor and it still tastes good by the end of the week. So I highly recommend you guys trying out this recipe. It's very easy to make and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have eaten it. So I was showing you guys earlier that I add some chickpeas and fruit to my salad, but I go ahead and also add some chicken. I like to season it with garlic salt as well as some chicken seasoning. This adds some more protein into my lunch so I get enough. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and use the same olive oil to coat the pan so it doesn't stick. Once I've added all the chickens onto the pan, I'm going to go ahead and season the other side. I like to go ahead and shred my chicken into bite-sized pieces before adding it onto the salad. Every Sunday when I prepare the chicken, my dogs always come running to me because they can smell it and they always beg. It's hilarious. Now that the chickens are all cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some protein to my salad and evenly distribute the chicken into each container. I did just want to quickly show you guys what I eat for breakfast before heading out to work. I usually toast one bagel and then I add cream cheese and I have a Greek yogurt. And in the yogurt I like to add some granola as well as some fruit into it. Because I actually need to eat breakfast, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I prepare the yogurt. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in and then I add some blueberries, strawberries, as well as some blackberries.
I love eating this in the morning because it's so filling and honestly I don't feel hungry till lunch. Plus with the bagel I definitely feel satisfied. Lastly I'm going to go ahead and add some blackberries and strawberries onto my salad. You guys can honestly add different types of toppings, fruits, veggies to your salad that you think will be tasty. So here's the final look of my meal preps for both lunch and dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed. They're super tasty, fulfilling, healthy, and quick to make, which is what I love about them. In total, it took about two hours to prepare both meals. Doesn't it look so tasty? All right guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel.